Good morning, everybody. I thought I'd come down to the jetty in the morning to show you what it's like down here in the morning. Normally, I'm here in the afternoon. So, this is winter in Queensland. It's supposed to be about 23 degrees Celsius maximum today. At the moment, it's 17 degrees at 9 a.m. But this is your typical winter day. Blue skies, sunshine, and good times. Well, I just want to say a huge thank you to a couple of people. Uh, one is Toby Merchant. Uh, not only did he send me some uh, beer fund money or other fund money, uh, he also became a Patreon. Good on you, mate. Appreciate that. That'll really help me out. And I also want to thank Kevin Catlin uh, from the USA. Yeehaw! With lots of cheer, go get myself some tasty beer. Good on you, mate. I will. And I've still got quite a bit there, so I'll do that another time. But uh, I did get another beer fun donation from Harrison Willie. And Harrison really wants me to go and buy some furfy which is the one i saw the other day on special or some mountain goat steam ale so how about we whip on over to the bottle o and see if that furfy is still on special and i'll go and get some and i'll also try and find the mountain goat steam ale as well let's go all right well here we go oh yes the furfy is still on special Good, only $12 instead of $17.50. Rightio, well I'll get one of those. And he wants me to find a Mountain Goat Steam Ale. Oh God, how on earth am I gonna find that amongst this plethora of beers? Don't worry, mate. I've got all day, so I'll find it. Well, I found this one. Mountain Goat Fancy Pants. Well, that's not the steam ale. Anyway, that's $22.49. Oh, jeez, you didn't give me that much. Well, here's a Mountain Goat Pale Ale, but that's not the steam ale. And I found a Mountain Goat Summer Ale, but that's not the steam ale. Hmm. Now I've come over to the clearance bin and take a look what I found. Have a look at this. I've got a six pack here for six dollars. Mate, I can't say no. And I noticed that this bolter, which is normally about eighteen dollars for a four pack, I've got some here for eight dollars. <sighs> Damn you! Damn you special prices! <sighs> so that's my haul today. So thanks Harrison, I really do have too many beers at the moment and I've got so many reviews to do, I haven't even done one, so I really need to somehow find time to start doing some beer reviews. That'll be the last beer I buy for a while, I'm working for the next two days so I won't be drinking too much. But to my American people, have a look. Now when I was over there, I really noticed that you didn't sell like uh, pre-mixed cans or anything. And we've been selling these pre-mixed cans for oh, 15 years. But you can buy pre-mix bourbon and cokes, like, but look at the price of it. It's absolutely ridiculous. One of our politicians put a special tax on it. It used to be like 40 bucks a carton, and he put this massive tax on it to stop young kids from drinking it. Yeah, politicians always ruining everyone else's fun. Mmm, Bundy. I love the mid-strength Bundy, actually. That one's a really good one. Oh, God, I love that stuff. So I just came home and I jumped on the comments section just to have a look on my Greg's Kitchen channel and my spam bin was all full. So I jump in there and somebody had just copied and pasted to like 50 videos. Their absolute just hate for me. And uh, just this abusive tirade 
of just hate. So, which is something that I, you know, you expect uh, from making videos on YouTube and posting them up. I, I mean, I've copped so much hate over the years. I mean, it just rolls off my back now because it's just like, oh, well, you know, doesn't matter. And, uh, well, I replied to him, this guy, and I just said, you know, the best thing about your comments on all my videos is knowing that I'm living rent-free inside your mind. And it's only giving me more strength inside to continue to make videos just to piss you off. <laughs> I love pissing off those people. So anyway, I have got to go into work and pick something up. So I'm gonna do that now. Now I get a lot of people asking me, Greg, where do you work and what do you do? I just don't wanna say right now. Um, in a few months time, I will be able to say it, but uh, right now I just can't. Well, and that is a reason why, just like I just told you, you know. All I need is one freakazoid like that guy. Uh, finding out where I work, maybe coming into work, uh, making a scene, uh, breaking something, emailing my boss, telling me that I make videos on YouTube or something. Not that he cares, because he watches them, because my boss is awesome, and he doesn't care, and he knows exactly you know, what goes on, because I tell him. So um, that's, that's why I don't sort of explain. A few people know but uh, I, I don't put it out there. So, uh, but I'll be able to tell you pretty soon what, a, what it is, uh, what I do and um, yeah, what I have been doing. So uh, I've just got to go into work now and um, pick something up. Let's go. Anyway, I'm back. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? Totally forgot to like film anything. But uh, I went to work and then I thought, well, on the way home, I'll go to the casino just to see, you know, they've got a new wing there and just to see how busy it was because the share price has like dropped dramatically. But I went in there and there's like heaps of people. So I'm thinking, hmm, see, if I had some spare cash, I'd be buying some more shares in that. Don't know why they've shat themselves. Anyway, that's the share market for you. You just can't trust anything, can you? But you gotta keep your eyes on things. And from what I could see, they're doing all right. Hmm. Anyway, I've got some avocado here on toast for lunch. This would be really easy to do if I wasn't holding a camera. That was the avocado we bought at the markets last weekend, weekend before. It's just got ripe now. So I had half of it last night as well on toast. A bit of white pepper. That should be enough. Oh yeah. Yamo. You know what really annoys me? Is that I put the camera down somewhere and then I forget where I put it. And then I think of something to say and then I walk around for the next half an hour looking for the camera and then I've forgotten what I was talking about. Oh, God, I annoy myself. But you might have noticed that I've got a nice clean face. Because I use that shaver uh, that was sent to me. I'll tell you what, it does a really good job at, like, shaving. <laughs> Without the rash, mind you. No rashes. No, nothing. It, it leaves this tiny, tiny bit of length, which is still a little bit rough. I wouldn't want to be licking my cheek, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, it does a good job. Anyway, I was supposed to do a video on me using it and everything, but the, the people that I was uh, dealing with never got back to me. I sent them, like, uh, some questions. I sent them a uh, the copy of the video that I did. I did all this stuff. Never heard back. So I thought, well, pfft, stuff is. I know what company not to use uh, if I'm ever uh, uh, wanting to promote something now, at least. Anyway, it's, uh, cool. oh wow, it's still a bit early. Now, just a reminder, yes, I am working tomorrow, so just uh, remember that if a video doesn't pop up. But, these have been in the fridge for quite a while now. Just come out. Yeah. I got the furphy in me hand. Ooh, the furphy. 
No, 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 I'm not talking about the thing between my legs. I'm talking about this bottle of furphy. Now, I will do a proper review on it sometime, but I'll just give it a... Ooh, it smells good. Oh, yum. I'll just give it a quick taste. Mmm, not bad, not bad. It tastes a little VB-esque. A watered-down VB, that's what it tastes like. Not bad. <laughs> if you like watered-down VBs. Anyway, I thought I'd bring me Furphy down to the jetty. It's a nice afternoon, light breeze. Hey, keep it down over there. I'm trying to relax here with me Furphy. Born at the little uh, creatures. Ah, oh, it's a little creatures beer. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, damn it, where's that $40 hat? Oh, why didn't I wear my hat down? Rule number one, always wear your hat. Rule number two, if you haven't got a hat drink, take your mind off not wearing a hat. Anyway, I'm just having this one beer tonight because I'm going to work, so I have to be responsible and I am very responsible usually. Hey, stop that renovating! But I was watching one of my old videos last night and, well, you can see the sun is setting over here. This is in winter, but in, like, this summer video, the sun usually sets, like, over there. So, hence we have longer days because it, you know, goes over straight over the top and the sun sets over there because the sun just sweeps across the sky there in a shorter arc. But yeah, so from there, all the way over to there. Makes quite a big difference. It seems like it's only about 30 metres, but of course in reality it's probably more like 3 billion kilometers anyway for dinner tonight I've got this delicious curry that I whipped up I've got a video on Greg's kitchen tomorrow showing how I made it I'll tell you what it tastes really good and it was so easy it's like it you know it's one of those things you just shove stuff in and it does it all itself and it was a one pot meal too so that's good so keep your eyes open for that uh, that's all today. I'm going to have an early one. It's not even five o'clock yet. So I'm going to edit this, upload it, and then I can just relax for the rest of the night. And hopefully, if, you know, all things go well, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.